Hello peoples, welcome to episode 51 of Terraria 1.3 Expert Mode. I just want to put this minecart track back where it was. And so, today what I'm doing is setting up the train stops, subway stations. While all these little slimes are trying to fester me. Now the reason I put up those wood walls there is because I had some pockets of water and I wanted those to drain out down into these rooms here there is a bit of room left over for some extra water but I didn't want the water to go all the way out to the sides and maybe screw things up that I don't know what's out there yet so what I did to get this started was well I found where I wanted the subway station to meet up with the outpost on the surface then I checked that position all the way down at the tunnel and I dug straight up. It would probably be easier to dig straight down from that same space instead of up. Oh well, I did it, it's done. A lot of things trying to kill me. And so what I did, I don't have any rails actually. I only have four just as a place in my chest, in my rail chest, to tell myself this is where rails go. So I'll have to go caving to find more rails. So anyways, instead of rails, I use wood platforms to put here to show where I will have rails in the future when I actually get them. And so as you're traveling along a rail, maybe I can just take apart a few to show as an example. Yes. Uh, here's a good spot. One, two, three. And I think I have to use the hammer to reshape that. Uh, this is strange. Maybe if I do this to help out. There we go. Okay, so one, two, three. Yes! Wait, but the one next to it doesn't look like it was working. Whoa, what? Uh, help. <laughs> okay, technical difficulties. Alright, let me hop on over here. No, it doesn't work. It's not close enough to the ground. I have to take this top piece and put it down. Uh, here. Do I have to reshape? Okay, that did something. So what does that do? This makes them two separate lines. This makes them two separate lines, but has the one on the bottom in front out of the way. And this has the one going up in front. It's interesting, I've never played with this before like this. Let me see what happens. So okay, so that makes this the default. That means as I'm traveling along, if I want to take the lower path, I will hold down. No? Huh. Out of the way. Okay, I have to remove this temporarily because it's really screwing things up. So hop on. That's weird. Maybe if I go faster. I'm thinking that if I hold the down key, I'll automatically take the lower path, but no, I guess not. The, okay, if I look, since I look closer, I guess they are two separate lines. Okay, oh, I get it. Well, I think this is how it works, so this, when they're shaped like this, they are joined, okay, and you can take either path. Like this, you can only take the upper, well, they are two separate paths, but the one leading right is connected to the one that leads up, and then, like this, makes the bottom line one continuous path, and the upper path is separate. This is really tricky to figure out, but I think I've got it now. Okay, so this is what I want. Now, if I don't push anything, I should continue along the main line. Yes, okay. And if I do it again and hold up the W key, I should take the upper path. Yes, okay, this is exactly what I wanted. So, when the rails lead upwards and I'm traveling from left to right, and I hold up, I should take this path up here to this stop. And the reverse, if I'm traveling left and I hold up, I should take this path to this stop. So I want to be able to stop at this subway station uh, no matter which direction I'm traveling from. 
Alright, and that should work out pretty fine. And the reason I won't end up having the rail line this one, if I'm traveling right, and I hold up, there's no way I can travel up this one because that really wouldn't make sense. That's why I had them separate. Uh, another different thing I thought of configuring them was, let me think. Before I came up with this design, what was I thinking? I think I wanted to have them closer together. Like this-ish? Maybe I can shape it. Well, I don't know. Well, I don't know. I had it where the lines were too closer together and it didn't really work. So the actual subway stop is going to reflect the actual subway stop back at the main base, like this. It's going to have a little stop, a bump in the floor, you know, to help out the blind people to say, hey, the uh, train is right here. So I'm going to have the rails lead it right up into this. And here's where you'll mount up and take off. There you go. Have a good day. And hopefully, as I take off, I won't automatically take this upper path into the next one. Yeah, that's the plan anyways. And if it does, I may have to widen it one extra block or whatever, just hold the down key. Now, let me see. Hopping up onto the carts doesn't seem to be a big problem here. I will eventually change this to like dirt or stone brick, gray brick. I've been playing, Min playing Minecraft a bit. I'm calling things by the Minecraft name, stone brick, gray brick. And yeah, I'm going to theme the subway stops according to the, what is it? Well, the surface outposts. In this case, cactus and sandstone. I was going to go sand, but that seems kind of, uh, kind of not very safe for a subway station, you know, underground place, you want to have supports and stuff. So this platform's going to have cactus platforms. Uh, I originally thought I would have platforms shaped as stairs to go up, but I like it better as, you know, big sandstone block steps. Out of the way. And I might you even mix it up a bit and have different backgrounds in this station than the ones I do over here, which uses, I think, teal and white painted sun plate walls. Yeah, it sounds fun. I mean, there are tons of blocks in the game. Should be lots of fun to try out different things. A lot of different subway stations. And where are my rails? There we go. All fixed. So that's basically all I've been doing. Out of the way. Uh, you know what, let me just shape out the rest of this. Let's see, this goes there, is that right? I think that's right. Oh wait, no, well, this isn't going to be sandstone, but it is the position I want it to be. And so this is going to come out to somewhere. That goes out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 blocks from the platform and I have to get down there somehow. There we go. Yeah, that's the troubles with building underground. You always have to dig out space and make more space. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 8, 9, 10. And here it is. I gotta dig out more space. Well, the good thing about this is I'm getting lots of stone brick, which I don't have a lot of. Oh, I forgot about the Traveling Merchant. I was going to go ask him what he's got for sale. Oh well, I'll wait for the next one. I'll just assume that this one had stuff I already had and I wasn't missing anything. Okay, so one of the 10. And the last two are the little bump. Then I have three and then the steps. One, two, three. And steps. Yeah, just like that. And I'm basically going to mirror the right side on the left. It's a lot wider than I originally envisioned. Okay then, well, almost done. Oh, and I will eventually change the walls to this uh, mineshaft, whatever. 
to match what it is up here, silk rope and cactus platforms, cactus walls. Maybe sandstone walls as I go deeper. But anyways, finishing off the video, I'm going to try out the cactus farm. Let's see. Not much has grown yet, but I can try out the switches. So, on each platform there's a switch on the top of, you know, each shelf. And the middle shelves have a switch on the side. Now, the switches on the top of each shelf are for that shelf specifically. So if I flip this switch or the one on the left side of it, it should deactivate the sand all along it. There we go, and the cactus fell off. I can go collect it. Great. And now this sideways switch should deactivate all the sand on all, on all levels. Great. And the reason I put this on the center shelf was because if I don't check back to this in a long time, there could be a lot of cactus grown. And so I want to check everything and to do that I'll jump to the center layer and I'll be able to see all levels clearly. And then I'll see, well there's a bunch of cactus here. And right away I won't have to jump to the top or the bottom for the master switch. Ta-da! And get everything done. Oh, seems how seems the wires feed into the torches on the middle and bottom shelf. Ah, that's why. That's easily fixable. Whoops, uh, okay, there we go. Just move the torches one spot to the right. Okay then, this has been Terraria 1.3 Expert Mode, Episode 51. Little train station setup getting started. If you like this video, leave a like, and if you want to follow along with this series or anything else on my channel, you can subscribe as well. Alright, until next time, probably going to explore the hell layer some more. Well, if, well it depends on if, what I feel like, actually. Anyways, if I do feel like exploring the hell layer, I might start the Wall of Flesh runway. Alright, well, whatever happens, till next time, be swell, stay well, and farewell.